What's going on everybody? This is your boy Man Up. I'm coming at you with another video today. Oh my goodness. You know, I guess I'm, I don't know how to put this. I saw a video not too long ago, earlier today actually, uh, about the WNBA players are saying how they deserve to be paid as much as the men. Now, I talked about this issue a couple of times. The last time I talked about it, it was uh, Draymond Green. You know, he was giving his opinion on it. I was like, the WNBA players need to listen to Draymond Green. Now, this is what a lot of WNBA players get delusional about. I'm going to touch on a couple of different things here, but I'm not saying that women don't deserve as much as the men. Let me start by saying that because I know a lot of women going to watch this video, going to come with going to come in defense and attack mode and ready to say whatever. I do think the women do should get paid as much as men. But I'm going to touch on a few reasons why they don't. Let me start off with this one. Just a regular Google search. I said the definition of professional Number two here, engaged in a specific activity as one's main paid occupation rather than a pastime. Now, whatever your job is, you could say you're a professional whatever. You work at McDonald's, you're a professional cashier, you're a professional burger flipper. I don't know. You work at Subway, you're a professional sandwich maker. Why? Because you get paid to do it. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because in that particular video that I watched, one of the ladies that was getting interviewed said that she's a, she's a professional. She should get paid just as much as the men. Everybody, if you have a job getting paid, you are a professional by definition. You might be saying, man, up. we know that. That's dumb. That's stupid. Well, I bring that up because, like I said, I hear this a lot with women. They don't understand. Just because you get paid to do something does not mean you're going to get paid as much as the men. For example, you can't work at McDonald's and think you're going to get paid as much as a, a CEO at a software company. I don't know. I'm just throwing something out there. It's not going to happen. Let me go ahead and go to the next one real quick. Now, this is one of the reasons right here why the WNBA don't get paid as much. Just a regular Google search again. And there you go. The WNBA has gained significantly popularity over the years, making it the highest paid women's league worldwide. In 2019, the WNBA's average annual salary, excuse me, I can't talk all of a sudden, reached 75.18 thousand US dollars per year and total salaries approximately 10.83 million US dollars. Pretty good. But let's read the bottom. How much revenue does the WNBA generate? Well, the WNBA generates a revenue of 60 million annually, but it also has a cost of in excess of 70 million. So the W W blah, I can't talk all of a sudden. <laughs> the WNBA does not make money. It has turned an average of ten million net loss per year since the inception in 1996. And they came up with this article. Uh, what almost two months ago? As a matter of fact, tomorrow will make two months ago. <laughs> oh man, see. This is what a lot of people do not understand. You're not going to work on a job and get paid a, a top dollar if you if the company is not making top dollar. They got expenses they has to pay, they have to pay. There's any business, even if you start your own. And one of the ladies that will be interviewed said that she has a t-shirt business to try to cover up, you know, some of her uh, expenses. 
And I'm thinking to myself, that's the start because that's what a lot of the uh, uh, NBA players do. Now, let's go ahead and look at LeBron James' huge contract. He signed a four-year, $154 million contract. Oh, wow, he's going to get $154 million. Why am I not getting $154 million? Well, LeBron is not going to get that money. There's a lot of stipulations in his contract that he has to meet. You see what I'm saying? That, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Then behind the scenes, you know, he got to pay his agent, his managers, uh, uh, his personal trainers, uh, all that. Then what if he gets injured? That's money that he's missing out on right there, too, if he gets injured. Because he's not playing. So he's not. So there's a lot of money that's being left on that table. So, yeah, the contract itself is worth $154 million, but he's not going to get that whole $154 million. It's just like when you're getting your regular paycheck. Mm, I'm just going to say you work 40 hours a week. Let's just say you get paid $10 an hour. That's $400. So, are you going to bring home $400? No. You got taxes. And let's just say you have a... Uh, uh, your benefits, you know, you got to pay your medical, your di- your dental, uh, your vision, you know, all that good stuff. So after that, you might bring, I'm just going to roughly say $300, just a rough, rough estimate. So you're not bringing home that whole entire $400. Now you bring home that $300, guess what? Depending on your situation, you got to take care of your kids. You got to pay your bills, your mortgage. Uh, you got to put food in the house. Uh, you know, whatever. That's basically what these uh, NBA players are doing. And with the WNBA not making money, as you can see right here, just a regular Google search. That's what I did. A regular Google search. If the WNBA loses $10 million a year, and they said they've been losing this since they came into existence in 1996. How in the hell do you think they're getting their money? They are getting their money from the NBA. So, of course, you're not going to get the high-paid salaries and stuff. You have to bring people in. Put butts in the seats, like they say in the NFL. You got to put butts in those seats. And if you ain't doing it, you ain't going to get paid that much. That's just what it is. So, here's a breakdown of what the WNBA versus the NBA. Like I said, just a regular Google search. You can find all this stuff on your own. The NBA makes... Before they have to pay anything, $8.3 billion. That's in ticket sales, uh, revenue from the money they make from being on TV, uh, j- uh, jerseys, uh, a little anything. The WNBA makes 60 That's before you have to pay anybody any kind of money. That's how much money they make. The WNBA makes sixty million. Now, when I was watching that video, it was one lady that's saying that she makes, uh, she signed a contract for one hundred and seventy thousand dollars, or it was something like that. I forgot exactly, but I want to say she said about one hundred seventy thousand. No, I think it was seventy thousand. Well, one of the two. <laughs> one of the two. Let's just go ahead and say it was 70. You're making above average of what people make, or what the average person makes. What I'm saying? The average income in America is 50, is between 40 and 60,000. That's the average income. And what you're making 70,000, that's a, a little bit above average. 
Now, should the WNBA players get make as much as the men? Again, I'm going to say yes. But if your job is not bringing in a whole lot of money, you're not going to get paid a whole lot of money. That's just what it is. I, I can't work a security job and think I'm going to get paid as much as I should if I was the, the CEO of, of Apple. I'm just throwing something out there. <laughs> I'm not going to bring home millions just to working at a security job. That's basically apples and oranges. Night in between night and day. B- big difference. Let's go ahead and go to the next one real quick. Now, I said, as you can see, a regular Google search. Who supports the WNBA more? And as you can see, it's men that support them more. I just typed in, as you can see at the top of your screen right there, who supports the WNBA more? And what I meant by that was men or women. Because the last time I watched a WNBA game, it was more men watching. More men in those stadiums than women. Hmm? And as you can see right here, NBA players made sure to show their support of the WNBA by wearing orange hoodies. More and more people are starting to follow the WNBA. Then at the towards the bottom here, it says Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook show support for WNBA. On Saturday, Westbrook took took in the uh, Sky Mystics game and also announced a colorway that supports women's empowerment and the WNBA around the Around the NBA, other teams and players joined the support. NBA stars Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook supports the WNBA. I didn't see not you don't see not one woman. It don't say Serena Williams. It don't say Beyonce. Matter of fact, I've never seen Beyonce at a WNBA game. I only seen at two uh, 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 NBA games. One of them was for the Heat, and one of them for her hometown Rockets. So, uh, then let, let's just keep going. Uh, you know, you don't see it. One, I'm trying to tell w- women, the more you sit here and talk about this, the less and less interest people are going to show. But for some reason, that's not resonating in their head. Stop whining and complaining. Just do it. Do something. Start an outside business. Go to the your net, your local rec parks and play with some of the teenagers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Coach them up. What do you think NBA players have done and are still doing to this day? That's how you build your brand. That's how you make more money. People are going to show more interest. Instead of whining and complaining, you don't get paid as much. Why don't you... Study what the NBA is doing and then copy it. I mean, that's just plain and simple. Why do you think the rich get richer? Because they take what it is that they're doing and they try to make it better. As you can see here, it's only men that are supporting the WNBA. See, what I'm trying to say here to y'all is this. Men do support women in everything. Women should get paid as much. But when you're not, when you are working at a company that don't pay as much, that don't bring in as much money, I should say, you're not going to get paid as much. That's just what it, how it goes. When, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. When you're sitting here whining and complaining, yeah, you're going to say, who's whining? Guess what? When you This is a constant, everyday story that we hear. Why women don't get paid as much as men? Well, l- let me uh, uh, say this here real quick. Women are not going to get paid as much as men in certain fields because it's dominated by men. I brought this up before. I'm going to say it again. Like on my job. There are women working my job. But guess who has to help them when it comes to picking up and carrying and pushing and pulling heavy things? Men. 
We have to stop being productive on our positions to go help them. But they get paid the same as much as I do, though. But I'm helping them with their job. They're not helping me with mine. So tell me how is that fair? You see what I'm saying? There are certain jobs that it's just going to get, men are just going to get paid more. That's just what it is. And there are certain jobs women are going to get paid more. That's just what it is. That's just how it goes. You're not going to get equal pay on every single thing. You're not going to be, get equality on everything. I know that's what women want, but we're trying to let you know, look, if you don't want, like I said, you can look all this stuff up yourself. All I did was a regular Google search on all of this stuff, just a regular Google search. That's it. You see, so at the end of the day, all I'm saying is this here, and I'm going to go ahead and end this, WNBA players. Why don't you take a note, take notes from the NBA and just do that? Just take notes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Kobe Bryant, uh, may he rest in paradise. Uh, Kobe Bryant was always, you know, in the parks in L.A. and in his hometown in Philly playing, playing with, you know, in the, in the local parks. That's helped build on your brand. That's helped keeping people in those seats. Even though the Lakers don't need that, but they, but still, that is helping him. That's helping the team. That's helping the league. I mean, James Harden doing the same thing. Hakeem Olajuwon is still doing that. He's been retired from the game. I want to say it was like 2005 or somewhere around there when he retired. 2003, somewhere around there. And he's still playing the game, still, you know, helping the, the youngsters, you know, with their game, out in the parks, helping these, these pro athletes, all that. I mean, Michael Jordan, he's a billionaire. How did he become a billionaire? It wasn't from uh, the W, uh, excuse me, it wasn't from the NBA checks. It was from his shoes. From his restaurant, from all of his endorsements. That's how. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. But like I said, I support the WNBA. I support women. But at the same time, it's like you got to take notes. That's just how it's going to go. Anyway, this is your boy, Man Up. I'm chugging a deuce. I'm going to holler at y'all.